Alright. <sighs> Fuck it. All rise! Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it. If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person... I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island. Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already! I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. You know, because I was asleep the whole time. <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Damn! Holy shit! Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? I was not expecting that. Holy shit, that's legitly a counter. Wow. Anyway, we shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Then, let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Okay, real quick, how long is this trial? How long is this trial? That's all I gotta say. Please say so in chat. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptom. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room since she hadn't slept all night while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... No! A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! Oh it's shit! Such a hard pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded, the music venue. But it was too late. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our site. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then, I noticed Ibuki was gone. So, I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> I'm choking over here. But, uh, let me go close my door. And I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. <sighs> Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko, so I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. Various ways? 
Don't say it like that and confuse people. Look at this. We're we're different. We're getting different poses of these characters and different expression of these characters. This motherfucker is blushing. Very very interesting. Oh excuse me. After I heard from those two that Ibuki disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's. And not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so... We decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who would? How do I know anything Hajime just said is true? Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. How? What? What? I'm so confused. Hajime. Oh god. You're the only one who saw the hanging video and the first one to discover Ibuki's body. Then you can be lying as much as you want right now. Oh, he's being that kind of asshole. Okay. Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Come on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Wow. What a complete douche. It's just as Kazuichi said, Nagito's the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it. I should have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Don't 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 make your argument. Alright. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. These things are fucking huge. And the fact that Ibuki hung herself. That would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie means it probably is Hajime's fault. Oh, it's the movie ticket because I didn't get I didn't see the movie legitly right after. Okay. Hajime's testimony is clearly suspicious. Hajime's testimony is a lie. And the fact that Ibuki that would also be a lie. I don't think I can deny that after all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime lie? Well, obviously because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. Yep, bitch. No, that's <laughs> Get out of here. I'm not the killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. I want to fucking choke him so bad. So bad. So this, that was just all a part of his plan, literally. Fuck this guy, man. <coughs> Fuck this. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. So, okay. <coughs> So, there's two things that's happening. Oh, excuse me. The two things that occurred just now. This dude 
was saying, prove it that I'm not the killer. Basically putting pressure on me. I proved that I'm not the killer with the ticket. But he already knew that. Because I, I was there when I was with him when I saw the movie. And... So, is he- does he have my back? I'm so fuck you, fuck you, Nagito. Or, did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec! You're the one who brought this up in the first place! Nagito, what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the <coughs> arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself, right? Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it! Ibuki committed suicide! If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide... Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? I couldn't have been gone for more than 10 minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within 10 minutes? There's no way that's possible. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However... That door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means, when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <laughs> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! Honestly... As much as he was a douchebag in the past, I don't blame him for blaming Sonya and Kazuichi. Real talk. M me too? What the hell? Why's it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! Oh, oh my fuck. The hell, Monokomo, are you doing? Hey, why are you talking like, huh? You, you're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? Uh, please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall! Is this his professional skill? The killer was inside the music venue. Fuyuhiko obviously thinks so, but... Is that really it? Wait, 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 what, 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 what? Make your argument. Motel room, scrap of paper, stepladder... Semi transparent glob? The killer was still inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. Ah. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. The lock was on the floor in front of the door. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. So they looked like they had just rushed over. 
I have seen this in serial crime dramas. <coughs> the person remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. This is all I'm assuming I'm gonna have to agree with um Akane. Which one? It has to be the damn it has to be the it has to be the goop, right? It has to be the goop bullet. But which one do I aim it at? It's not it's not really <coughs> because I've aimed aim it at Akane, it did not help at all. <laughs> it, it did not help at all. You think you can disagree with Gundam? Maybe. Yeah, I know I, I know it's the glob. <clears throat> I just don't know where to shoot it. The killer was still inside the music venue. Oh, that was four seconds. Great. Inside. Fuck, I'm going for that one. Holy sh! No, that's wrong. Interesting. I didn't even see chat. If you guys answered me, then no, you guys did not say anything. Oh, now I look at it. Freaking Darkheart said it. <laughs> I was like, I shot everybody else except for Kuzuryu, so I'm just gonna go for it. What do you know? From the outside. How? It was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob. Like rubber, maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. That bitch was gummy. It was uh it was what the hell was it? It wasn't rubber at all. It was glue. I see. <coughs> Semi transparent glob. Must have been glue. Glue? Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm gel like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. So she, so she ate glue. Interesting. Based on all that, I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. I believe it is not something one typically eats. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. And thanks to that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. What? But if you just stick them together with glue, you'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Ooh! <coughs> didn't know, I did not think of it that way. Interesting. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Then I... I totally fell for that fucking trap. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. What the fuck is her scream like extremely bright pink? My eyes. So, thank you. During the 10 minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space. And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, what unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. Mikon, you're making yourself so suspicious. What the fuck? If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? And when you went back with everyone else, Hyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hyoko was actually killed earlier. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? The scrap that was stuck on the baton lighting in the music venue. I should be able to figure out what the hell it is. Is it just wallpaper? 
W A L L P A P E R. There's so many A's! What the fuck? I need L's. What the fuck? Oh, ER. Stupid. Oops. I, I pushed A on a or X on accident. Fuck me, man. There we go. That scrap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting tear in the wallpaper see it fits perfectly I see so the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper and what's wrong with that does it have something to do with Yoko's body disappearing a mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that but if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper you can figure this out easily Sorry about this. Sorry, sorry. I forgot to do this. Boop. Right here. <coughs> I do care about audio balances, so yeah. The scrap of paper stuck to the baton lighting was part of that wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body? What? Did she... This... Nah. If I trace it back from there, the answer should be become should become clear. All right, let's give this a try. Oh shit! Logic dives. How the fuck do you play this shit? Okay, jump. Oh, jump is triangle. What the hell is X? Oh, accelerate is X, but triangle is to jump. Okay. 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 Holy shit! Ow! <laughs> dun 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 dun. Whoop! I played a lot of SSX back in my day. Why did Hyogo's body suddenly appear in the crime scene? It was brought here? I got hearts! Hopefully. It was hidden. Fuck, I'm going with that. <laughs> nice! What did the killer use to hide her body? The wallpaper? <clears throat> it should be obvious, right? Unless they did the current shit. Oh shit! What the hell is these jumps? Oh shit! I don't know. Are those ramps? Well, fuck it. I was scared because they were blue. Let's try it. Nice, the ramps. All right. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They formed a wall? They covered the pillar. No, they formed a wall. A wall? What the fuck? No, fuck the fuck. I'm, do I'm doing this one. I have hearts. Nice. 
<laughs> Perfect. It's all coming together. I got it. Kyoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden... So, oh, that sucks. So you're telling me Hyoko might have been the one who got murdered first? I don't want to believe that. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it, along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah, by wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when I first discovered Ibuki's body, Kyoko's body was already there. Oh, that sucks! However, because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. So they used the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper? The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar. So using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. Yep. Then the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music thing. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then, when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monomy 2.5D? D! 2.5D. <laughs> hey, don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission. You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs. I don't eat mothballs. I just enjoy looking at them. I knew it. There are so many similarities. It must have been intentional. Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie. Not just that, but Hyoko getting taped up after her death matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. Thank God that shit was freaking... That shit didn't happen. I did not... I do not want to see anybody mutilated at all. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. The reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie... Because they like movies. So let- what? I have hearts! <coughs> I see! The reason the killer imitated two of the murders from the movie was so he'd mix up the killing order. Then... Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. <laughs> She's not, that's for sure. God, Shiaki's cute. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? An even bigger jerk? Impossible! <laughs> Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? 
that means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. Dude, oh dude, she's getting annoyed. Oh, Chiaki is so cute. <laughs> it seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just gonna talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hiyoko was killed. So you're saying the killer brought Ibuki with him or her because she was still, you know, bleh. When Hiyoko died, Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. What the fuck? Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? The step ladder. Oh shit! I've got candles on. Fuck. <laughs> it's the uh, I have to agree with Sonya. It might be. When Hiyoko died. Maybe we'll see. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on, was there any sign she stepped on something? Were there even any footprints at the crime scene? Maybe her feet were on the floor. That she was like sitting or something. So instead, there'd be a mark on her ass. Wow. Weak, 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 I say. Muda, 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 muda. <laughs> I'll try it. It has to be this one. Ibuki's feet were on the floor. I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stuck? Yep, I told you. I agree with that. Sonya said Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... Muda does not <laughs> mean weak, just saying, yes, I know, it means useless. I know, trust me. I watched enough JoJo's to know that shit. <laughs> it's, it's, really? <laughs> Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Muda, 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 muda. Oh god, I love Dio so much. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye. Fuck you, Gundam. <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Hm. That's a good line. <laughs> He's gonna use it from now on. But, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. And my hamsters. Just saying. Just saying. I'm ready to slice and dice. Rebuttal showdown. I thought it was be Rebuto. Smudge on the floor. It's that one. 
We'll slice. The blood on feet belong to Impossible. What the fuck? Oops. See, yeah, it's totally the uh, it's totally the uh, the smudge on the flow. You're saying the blood on Luki's feet belong to Hiyoko? Ha! Impossible! Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood. We did no blood, Utesu! Allow me to cut through Bitch. those words. All right. That's not it. The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Yes, I do. If you look closely. There's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but... Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, It'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Dude, that sucks. So, because you guys got to remember, Ibuki was basically ha had that um really had that disease, the despair disease, and she was really really uh, gullible. So, you're saying someone told Ibuki to come with him or her into this stage and then after some, after one of them committed the murder to Hiyoko, dude, the blood splattered on the floor and Hibuki was just stepped in it? That sucks! God damn, that's dark. Hiyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops bleeding. So I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact, so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us... Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. That sucks, dude. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine, then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Soda's getting really annoyed with, uh, Gundam. Ah, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh huh? Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. <laughs> oh, Monokuma, you may be evil as fuck, but I do love this little bastard. I really do. What do you mean? Um, Nagito, what do you mean if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death. But I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. That is very, very true, but if that were to happen, we would have seen blood on her, so... She didn't kill Hyoko. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive! <gasps> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. If she waited until Hajime left, 
That's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself. Remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. And if she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What, what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? Oh my god, don't show me the shit. According to that video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? F forced? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside, it seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. What's making me more... <sighs> what's making me more expecting, you know, just Mikon to be the murderer is because she's talking way more... Norm not normally, but she's talking way more than she usually does in this um, in this kind of sequence. Fucking shit, Mikon, don't you dare be the murderer. I swear to God if you are. So, an alibi. It's Tether Tether all along. Motherfucker's still alive after being drenched in freaking lava. Just like cars. <laughs> then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh... But just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually live? What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence! Oh shit! <clears throat> oh god. The Weakest Alibi? We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? And what about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's not an alibi. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an alibi then, Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. I'm thinking about Fuyuhiko, because that is probably one of the weakest alibis. Ow. It's tough, man. It's really tough. Mikan on Sonya? Holy shit, I'm dancing with the devil. We can exclude the sick people like me and and what about the right before the morning I was totally sleeping and I think everyone at the motel was so everyone who stayed at the motel what about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be my own cottage. That's not enough. Aside from those afflicted by the disease, if nobody has an Holy f No, that's wrong. What? Hold on. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, 
Mikan and I both have alibis. But I'm um, you But it said we're eliminating the weakest alibi. We're not ex what the fuck? We're eliminating then it this trial this part of this game says we're eliminating the weakest the weakest um alibi. So why the fuck is it this? I'm already confused. You you two have alibis? What the fuck? We already said we have alibis. No, thanks, John. Thanks, John, for this. This got me. I'm. I was like so lost. Up until I saw that hanging video, Nikon and I were actually together for a while. Yeah, she was sleeping with me. We even woke up together that morning. Why would you say that, Nikon? Everyone's gonna get suspicious. What kind of situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. Oh god, it's already putting a dirty mind in everybody's head already. Uh oh. Too much info. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> Chiaki. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward, so we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. But we're not talking about that we didn't have an alibi. We were trying to eliminate the weakest alibi. What the fuck? This part of the game sucks. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. So you ex- what? No, hold on. You expected I was the killer? Are you fucking kidding me? This part of the game sucks, dude. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. See, it says it right there! This fucking game! But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? <clears throat> Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much. But that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. If that's the case, are we, s are we still in the killer's trap? Oh shit. St inside a trap set by one of us. It's Soda. Oh shit. Suspended? Are we almost done with this shit already? No fucking way. Hiya. Drum doesn't get it. Drum stop lacking. You are eliminating the weakest alibi to prove that your alibi is stronger. Oh. I should have said that shit. It should have put pressure on the character. You know what I mean? Like you, uh, Hajime. Like, oh, excuse me. Oh lord, getting gassy. You know what I mean? Like, the, what should have happened is that they should have forced this dude into a corner and saying that, so this guy just saw this guy saw the surveillance camera and ran to the uh, the music venue, but how can we really believe that shit? They, it should have said something like that, but it didn't. If that's what it, That would have been a much better situation to prove that my alibi was way stronger during that damn thing. Fuck, man. <sighs> I'm an idiot. Monomy, the moss boss sure looked tasty today. Stop it! Stop it! Don't characterize me as someone who lives off moss balls. And here's some chance time. Now then, Monomy's appeal time starts now. Appeal time. Your kind-hearted big brother is gonna give you the chance to reclaim your honor. Usami.
Good luck. Slow. What the fuck? I said slow. Show those jerks who treat you like a red-headed stepchild who's boss. What? That's 99% your fault. <laughs> While you were whining, your time's already running out, so please make your appeal simple. About 3,000 words or so. Interesting. 30,000. I said 3,000. That's too long. It would just be a boring appeal. I kind of just want to skip this all and just go straight to the trial. Come on, if your appeal is successful, there might be merchandise opportunities heading your way. Uh, then... Then Usami, magical miracle girl Usami. I'm an itty bitty girl who's sweet like milk. Milk is not... What the fuck? Jeez, and I thought a certain robot's little sister was supposed to be the best. What a disappointment. What are you talking about? I have no clue whatsoever. Alright, come on. The trial cannot be or, or nearly over. Like, real talk, it cannot be over that fast. It feels like I just started this damn thing, to be honest. Drum can't read. Drum, I think it's time to go back to school. I'm just gonna just. I've been put in such an unreasonable situation. Congratulations, Monami. I'm just gonna go buy a ton of books. I'm gonna go read a ton of books again. That's all I need to do. And matter of fact, I'm about to not just read. I'm not even gonna read manga. I'm just gonna freaking read actual literature. I have what is it called? It's that one movie that just. It's that one book that just had a release date. Something about The Giver, some shit like that. I forgot about that. I might as well reread that shit. Some about color, I think that was it was. That's what the uh, the story was about. But whatever. Seriously, he's like the king of unreasonableness. Why did it turn out like this? We were supposed to have a fun, friendly school trip, but it turned out all bloody instead. No, this definitely cannot be allowed. That's why I want you to remember this. Everyone, do your very best. Don't lose to yourself. And don't forget to save frequently. Ew, books. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, I forgot that fucking book's name. Real talk, I forgot about the. I forgot the book's name. I have a ton of books, but I haven't read them them shits in such a long time. I'm about to read them, man. I need to get my uh my grammar up and up and basically prepared for reading this kind of shit. I used to read a lot when I was a kid, but I kinda stopped. The reason the killer did an imitation murder is a reason that what is uh what I can't even read. Is a reason other than falsifying the murder sequence. Does something like that even exist? Huh. It suddenly got quiet in here. Did I confuse you? If so, I wish I could die from self-loathing. Man, this again. If that's the case, it would have been just dandy if they had gone ahead and killed me too. The Giver, that's the book. I read that shit a long time ago. I had a movie recently and apparently the movie completely sucked. I might as well just reread the book and go try to see the movie. If that happened, the imitation would have been perfect. So why didn't they do that? Well, it's against the rules to kill three people in the first place. That rule is too harsh. I couldn't get killed because of that. Seriously, just shut up already. Shut up forever. And he shuts up. Interesting. But I'm thinking about it again, and he's totally right. It feels incomplete. Because they didn't kill three people like the movie did? That's only because of Monokuma's rule. It's not just that. Come on, try to remember the content of the movie. What's the co what's the content of the movie? It's this dude, like Monokuma, he gets fucking transported into the island, he kills everybody, and then he goes back to his world and then basically enslaves the old. What the hell? About the lion that got killed second. That's the one Hiyoko's body was imitating, right? Hmm. 
Even though we're calling it an imitation, the lion was actually pinned by arrows, right? Exactly! It wasn't tied up! Well, it was kind of tied up. Yoko's body was suspended by common household duct tape. Maybe they just used a common substitute because it was too difficult to imitate the arrows. Well, that's probably it, but that attitude is what makes this feeling complete. I think the last book I read has to be, um, what's the hot, what's the, uh, the Hunger Games? Those are the last, that's one of the last books I've read. If falsifying the murder sequence was the killer's plan from the very beginning, they should have taken steps to properly imitate it. But if we never realized it was a half-assed imitation, their entire plan would have been completely useless. What are you trying to say? Are you saying the imitation wasn't planned? I'm saying... Yoko's murder wasn't. What? Yoko's murder wasn't planned, yep. She fucking went in there, she saw it, and she saw the murder, whatever, all that kind of shit. So wh somebody grabbed her and then fuck, just slit her throat. Horribly. It's a fucking horrible way to go. Um, I understand that imitation wasn't enough, but aren't you making a bunch of assumptions? It's not just the poor imitation. There are also other strange details. Strange details? Like what? Like, for example, why did Hyoko go to the music venue? Why did Hyoko? So, <laughs> you're saying the truth behind Hyoko's murder is hidden? I have no freaking clue what you're trying to say. However, this is getting quite interesting. My four dark devas of destruction are getting riled up. Why Hyoko, if that's the key to all this, I need to find out no matter- She went there because she was- she- um, Sonya. What? Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it. Maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe she went of her own free will. Or she was guided by the will of causality. The will of what? The will of causality. I need to find out why Hyoko went to the music venue first. Damn, look at my heart. Oh my god. Um, I have to agree with somebody basically, right? It's Hyoko's key. Go through the shit again. Why did Hyoko go to the music venue? No way we know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe she went of her own free will. Or she was guided by the will of causality. The will of causality. Interesting. What's up? Hey, Armor made it back. What the fuck? You stay stay strong, Jerome. <laughs> uh, Armor, what's good, man? Welcome back to the stream, sir. It's always a pleasure to see your damn name. Thank you for returning. So it's it's the fuck, man. This is a this is a gamble. I do like gambling, though, but. Fuck. Oops. Go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. Nope, I'm, I'm dancing with the devil. Oh shit! That takes a lot of life. Why did Shoko go to the music venue? There's no way we'd know that! Maybe the killer summoned her. If that's not it, maybe she got abducted by the killer. No, maybe she went of her own free will. What the f- Oh my god, it didn't hit the first time. That was weird. It's just as Sonya said. She went to the music venue of her own free will. So, exactly as I assumed. Because you fucking sent her there. It's your idea that got her killed. Sonya's evil. She's the one behind everything. If no one called for her, then why did she go? Yoko locked herself in her room because she was being overly cautious of the despair disease, you know? 
I don't think a person like that would leave their room just because someone called for them. There's no way she got abducted? Kyoko locked the room she was staying in. I was an idiot for shooting after Akane, I'm not gonna lie. Ignorance. <laughs> if she was forcibly taken from her room, there's no way she would have had time to lock it. The killer could have locked her door, right? Just to hide the fact Hiyoko got abducted. Then they couldn't have hidden her room key that deep in her kimono. They would have put it somewhere more obvious. Otherwise, there's no point in messing with the crime scene if nobody finds the key. At the time, you were the one who actually took out the key, right? Then something like that... I won't lose! She's still on the abducting sc abduction scenario. Are you saying... Scott was wrong. This is my first and last highlight of the day. Why won't you just let me shine already? You kind of shone already, um, Akane. No, th that's not the issue. Shut up! Enough with your fancy talk. I'll shut you up right now. Well then. All right, let's just start slicing and see what we got. What's good about this is that our life is ca our life came back, which is really great. Or comes back. What the fuck? Hiyoko was locked inside her room, right? She definitely got abducted or something. The killer forced their way into Hiyoko's room and forcibly abducted her. The girl is so small and weak looking. And that's why the killer targeted her. But Hiyoko's room was locked. The key was deep inside her kimono, remember? It's more likely that Hiyoko locked the door herself. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. There's no reason for the killer to put the key in Hiyoko's kimono. The killer probably didn't realize she even had the key. Hold on. Try remembering Hiyoko's body. Her kimono is only one reason Oops, the shit. be that messed up. She f That's the proof she was abducted, right? My gut is totally right after all! I guess it's the smudge on the floor. Damn it! We'll try it. The killer was the one who locked the door. So what if the key was in her kimono? Maybe the killer just put it there later. Did we just advance all this shit through? All, all this shit through all over again? The killer probably didn't realize she Nope, we didn't. Okay. Hold on. Try remembering Hiyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. Nope. It has to be that one. Maybe. <laughs> Let's look. Try remembering Hiyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. Oh, I'm a no, I'm a fucking idiot. Crap. Oh god. She fought with the killer. But she did it because her <laughs> if anything her her sash was fucked up and it was in the front of her. Hold it has on. to be Sonya's Try account maybe. Hiyoko's body. Her kimono was all messed up. There's only one reason her kimono would be that messed up. She fought the killer. <gasps> Cut through those words. Cut through those words, Adachi. The reason Hyoko's kimono was messed up was because she wasn't able to properly wear it. Wear her kimono? Yeah, it's also the reason why she decided to go out on her own. Hyoko seemed to be really struggling with wearing her kimono. I believe that was one of the reasons she locked herself in her room. That is why I informed her. I told her that there was a full-length mirror at the music <laughs> venue, and I suggested that she use it. I can't- I cannot help but laugh, because even though she may be evil, like, she's really evil, like, she has a very, very, very mean attitude. She's 14 years old, but this is like- <laughs> she- she cannot tie her own sash. It's freaking cute. It's cute as hell. I'm not gonna deny that shit. It's funny as hell, too. Like, please help me. <laughs> and the reason her kimono was messed up wasn't because she fought the killer. Yeah, she went to the venue on her own just to fix her messed up kimono. I, I get it. I lost. Boil me, burn me, take off my clothes, 
Do whatever you want to me. Hajime, now's your chance. Make her admit defeat. Or better yet, make her do a little something something. Soda, get the fuck away. That's not the time to fucking think about this shit, dude. Hell no. <laughs> then, the killer probably couldn't have assumed that Hioko would go to the music venue. Though that may not apply to Sonya, since she provided Hyoko with that information. Though I knew she would go there, there is no way I could have predicted when she would arrive. Don't go doubting this Sonya, you cretin. I'll put you and your hamsters six feet under. I thought it was cretin, not cretin. Whatever. <laughs> Kazuichi, it seems you have quite the fashion sense. Do you want me to incinerate your clothes? Perhaps I could do that while you're wearing them. Gundam, please stop! For his sake! Huh? What do you mean, for my sake? Of course! I've already overlooked no less than ten opportunities to kill you. Even if the killer couldn't predict it, why did Hyoko get killed in the music venue? The only thing I can think of is... It was an unfortunate coincidence. It was. It was a series of unfortunate events. Co coincidence? When she went to the venue by herself, she was probably just unlucky and walked in on the crime scene. Exactly. This is such an evil fucking scene, dude. It's so evil. She saw it. She probably tried to run. And then that's when... This dude or dudette grabbed her and slit her throat. That sucks so much. Holy shit. She was killed so there wouldn't be any loose ends? Yep. It probably happened when the killer was preparing to kill Ibuki. The killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head. And without... Oops. Killed Hyoko. Yep, there it is. That's fucking... Ah, fucking... God... God damn it. So the killer most likely had already placed the hemp bag over her head and without, hes without hesitation killed Hyoko. Damn, so this dude or dudette is just cold hearted. Holy shit. Because the killer is for their crime, it made this case even trickier. That's the reason they imitated the movie to falsify the murder sequence. Which means that low-down scoundrel didn't plan on committing imitation murders at first. Then what was the killer actually planning to do? They've been cunning this far. There's no way they'd kill Ibuki without a plan. Do, do you have any ideas? Damn, we don't know the most important part. The killer's plan from the beginning, I'm pretty sure we're very, very close. <clears throat> uh, yo, have you guys read those books? A series of unfortunate events. I'm not gonna lie. I still love them to this day. And apparently, uh, rumor has it is that um, they're they're gonna have a Netflix series. I don't know how that's gonna be. Hey Nagito, any ideas? Hey, how long are you gonna stay quiet? Oh, am I allowed to speak? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm getting goosebumps. Everyone actually needs help from scum like me. So what do you think? I was thinking about it while I had my mouth shut. But now I'm finally able to come to a conclusion. Oh shit. <clears throat> Ibuki definitely didn't commit suicide. Huh? What are you talking about? I thought there might be a possibility that she faked her death and tampered with the crime scene. But now I remember. There was blood on Ibuki's slippers. So if she faked her death and walked around the music venue tampering with the crime scene, there'd be bloody footprints left in various places throughout the venue. So that's why I think there's no way she faked her death. There's no way Ibuki committed suicide. What? You know, we already finished talking about that a while ago. Huh? Really? That's annoying. I guess I should just awkwardly laugh about it then. Ah! <laughs> <sighs> God damn it! Are you freaking 
fucking kidding me? There's no limit to how useless you can be! No, wait a minute! If Ibuki had blood on her feet, there'd be footprints all over the place if she kept walking around. That's strange. That's very strange. This is strange? What's strange? I see. It's not something we finished talking about. Those footprints. There's still an important clue left that we completely overlooked. Just, a, just as Nagito said, if she had blood on her feet, she would have left footprints. Then why? Why weren't there any footprints on the... On the... On the... These nuts? No. Why the fuck did I say that shit? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. Where is it? I was just on it. Here it is. I can prove it with this. If Ibuki used the step ladder to hang herself, it's strange that there weren't any footprints on it. Huh? There weren't? Yeah. That step ladder was completely clean. No footprints or bloodstains at all. Do you notice such a small detail? How amazing! This is truly the talent of a chosen ultimate! What are we talking about? Oh shit, I said we. What are you talking about? You were obviously leading us to this. That's why you brought up the suicide topic after all this time. Nagito Kom... Kom... I forgot how to say his fucking last name. Komida? Komida? I don't know. You're definitely someone I shouldn't under underestimate. Especially that hairstyle. Unless there was something funny about that video. I see. So there was some kind of trick arranged in that video, hmm? There was a spoiler in chat. I could even the minor the minor things, if, if anything is tiny, I could piece shit together. Don't even say the tiniest of all spoilers. Whoever clicked the chat, thank you. Real talk. But that's something only Hajime would know, since he's the only one who saw that video. So just as I thought, it comes down to that. The mystery surrounding this incident is contained in that video. Is it the light? And whether or not we can reach that hidden truth. It's all up Hajime, to me. I leave it in your hands. As long as I leave this to you, I won't tell you to do your best, but... Oh well, you should get started already. What? What's going on? Yeah, I'll definitely try. There was some hidden clue in that video. I should have seen something strange as I watched it. I'm the only one who can clear that up. I'm the only one who actually saw that video. So I'm the only one who can't do it. The hanging video that I saw... Based on everything we know from the debates thus far, I should be able to figure out what's strange. There was no blood stain. Is that it? Where am I? Here it is. There was no blood stain. That's right, I remember now. There was definitely something strange about that video. Can you explain it to us? What's strange is that stepladder I mentioned earlier. It's true that the steps of that stepladder weren't dirty, but on one side, there was a blood stain right on the left side of the stepladder. However, that contradicts the video I saw at the hospital. There weren't any blood stains on the stepladder in the video. It was completely clean. That is truly strange. No fucking way. That was a f that was a decoy? So you're telling me Ibuki did not commit suicide? It's not a Sakura incident anymore. She was legitly killed? Oh, okay, okay, real talk. Real talk, real talk. Whoever killed Ibuki, I won't say deserves death. I need to see who it is first, and then I say 
Whoever it is deserves death. No fucking way! If the video showed the moment of Ibuki's death, then Hyoko should have already been dead by that point. Even so, the fact is the stepladder had blood on it at the actual crime scene. But the stepladder in the video was completely bloodless. And there's no way the video was recorded in advance. If that's the case, the only thing I can think of is... It's possible those two stepladders were completely different. Wait, are you saying there were two stepladders? But where would you find another stepladder? There was only one stepladder in the music venue. Then one of the stepladders was somewhere other than the music venue. <sighs> but there, there was a candle. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you mean? Mikon, don't be the murderer, dude. I really don't want you to be the murderer. Don't be the murderer. I, if you are, I'm gonna... Probably just shed tears, man. Real talk. You're suggesting that the stepladder in the video isn't the only thing that's different. Am I right? That's amazing, Chiaki. All that gaming has given you incredible deduction skills. Is it okay to say that? Um, what are you two talking about? The stepladder isn't the only one that's different, huh? Chiaki said that the stepladder was at a different place, but if that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing, the place where the killer did something. What? I gotta read that shit all over again. Chiaki said that the stepladder was at a different place, but if that's the case, the thing that's different between that video and the actual scene of the crime is that thing, the place where the killer did something. Huh. Ugh. What the fuck is that? That's a... That's a... That's a long... That's a... That's... Those are some long ass boxes. It's... It can't be the conference room. Because room can't fit in that shit by anything. G? I don't understand. I really don't. Holy shit! I have I have hearts, maybe? Nope. 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 F? F? <clears throat> what the fuck is this shit? There's so many G's! F I F I F I what the fuck is it? Ow, hold on. F I I don't know. F I O Nope. Phil, what the fuck? F I L. F 
filming. L O C A T filming location. Oh shit. I fucking here it is. I need a Oops, shit. Oh, God. They're everywhere. Oh, Lordy. Oh, shit. I need it. I need it. There it is. That's what happens when you freaking sacrifice life just to get the answer. That's right. Besides the step ladder, the filming location must have been different too. Mekon. Because she was the only one left in the hospital. But that's impossible. She would have to make her way back to the fucking. Pl like, she would have had to freaking take in the damn surveillance camera. No, 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 no. It's not Mekon. No way in fucking hell. What do you mean? I mean, the video I saw was not filmed at the music venue. Exactly. So, this is Mekon. It has to be. Maybe? Because the conference room is the only place there. It was filmed somewhere else. But the hospital monitor is supposed to display footage captured by the music venue camera, you know? Then, there's a possibility that the killer also tampered with the surveillance camera unit. In order to show us that they filmed the video on the music venue instead of somewhere else, what did the killer do to that surveillance camera unit? Oh fuck, logic dives. Why the hell do I have low life right there? What the hell's going on? Oh shit! Oh! Oh god! I got. I. <laughs> I hate you. I hate you so much, game. First question. Which part of the surveillance camera unit did the killer tamper with? He tamper it's both there's it's the camera. He ta she or he tampered with the camera. That's it. If Mekon's the murderer, I called it out from the beginning. Well then. <laughs> I don't like how every time there's a logic dive, our life, like, stays the same if we do something wrong. That sucks so bad. Oh shit! Break! Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? Say what? Did the killer tamper with the camera at the music venue or the hospital? The music venue, of course. Oh shit! Oh lordy! Oh, all right, slow down. Oh sh! Oh Jesus! Oh lordy! What the fuck is going on? 
Oh shit. Ramps! What did the killer do with the camera from the music venue surveillance camera unit? Increase the signal, they took it from them. What? Yeah, that's it. It didn't increase the signal, you just took it from them. Killer just brought the camera from the music video. Dude, it's fucking Mekon. No! With it, they made me think it was a live feed from the venue when it was actually from somewhere else. Then only the monitor was left in the music venue? Yes, at least when I first discovered Ibuki's body. But when Hyoko's body appeared, the killer probably put the camera back too. That means you should have realized that from the start and made this easier on all of us. He did discover the body. I doubt his attention was focused on the camera. Well, that's true, but... In order to hide that the camera was missing, the killer did one more thing to the remaining monitor. The thing the killer did to the remaining monitor was... I see! Yeah, I saw that shit in shambles. The killer smashed the monitor to pieces, destroying it. As long as it was in pieces, you wouldn't be able to tell if the camera was actually there or not. My attention was so focused on the body that even I couldn't have noticed something like that. And the moment Hajime left the music venue, the killer put back the camera they took. And they destroyed it and left that in pieces as well. It's easy to say it was filmed somewhere else, but the surveillance camera's connection wasn't that strong. Despite Kazuichi's desperate repair efforts, it seems it could not transmit from the hospital to the motel. The fact that it was able to connect between the hospital and the music venue is amazing enough. Which means even if was what even if was filmed. Okay, even which means even if it was filmed in another place, as long as it was transmitting to the hospital, the range would be pretty limited. Well, it couldn't be Mekon because Mekon got cake, son. I think I would have seen a little lump right there. If that's the case, where was the video filmed to make it look like it was filmed at the music venue? The only possibility is... Yeah, now, there's so many hangman gamuts in this trial. Conference room. I need an end, please. Oh, shit! I'm an idiot. No! I, I fucking, I'm an idiot. God, God damn it. Oh, there, I got lucky. Oh shit! I pushed triangle. I'm an idiot. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, dude, I'm dying. I'm dying. I'm dying! It's because the fucking thing's off screen. Fuck! Wow, that R fucked me over. Great job. Damn it, dude. It was conference room, and then that R, and then collided with the M, and it's god damn it. That was not my fault. I danced with the devil to freaking get the answer for, um... Lo film location. Or film location, yeah. We will never give up! That was fucking bullshit. The M was right there, I know, but the R was going in, colliding with the M on the other side. That sucked. That's definitely gonna be a highlight. Oh shit! That, there goes that. What the f- My, 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 my mind. My buttons. Get out of here. Oh my god! Getting lucky. Ah! All right. It's possible that it was filmed at the hospital's conference room. It's Mekon. Mekon's the murderer. I called it. Huh? Conference room? But the hospital and the music venue look completely different. That's exactly why the killer oh, excuse me. to make those two places resemble each other. To make the conference room look like the music venue, the killer went ahead and did some work. I've got to make clear what that work was. Make your argument, god damn it. <laughs> the current. It has to be the current. There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Would that be it right there? The Looks like it. Look like the conference room. Or did they make some kind of set? Oh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a, I'm a fucking moron. Did There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did he make some kind of set? Oh shit! He might have tampered with the camera. I still can't believe he mixed up the filming locations. Hajime, you're pretty stupid. Hey! I'm going with Akane. In order to make the hospital conference room resemble the music venue, what did the killer do? It's with the currents. Drone, we don't know anything yet? Nope, I'm assuming. I assumed Teru Teru the first trial and I got it right. I did. I didn't get the I didn't get the second trial right, but I'm trusting my guts on this one. It's Mekon. There's no way the conference and the music venue look like Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look like the music venue? Or did the music venue look like the conference room? Or did they make some kind of set? 
might have taken Fuck! the camera. I Get it! Carefully he mixed up the filming. How'd you make hey, you're pretty stupid. Nope, I'm a no I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Hold on, my back. Ugh. Don't challenge me with proof that doesn't even make sense. Woman, you don't make sense. Damn it. I got hearts. <laughs> Drone, please. <laughs> There's no way the conference room and the music venue look the same. Which place resembled the other? Did the conference room look more cool? Fuck it, I'm going for this one. Alright, it's not that one. It's the other one. I have hearts. Where do you think I got the freaking other, oh, the filming location correct? Which place was Did the conference room look like the music, or did the music room look like the conference? Yeah. That must be it. I would sacrifice my life to get results. What the killer did was make the music venue, the crime scene, look like the conference room. They did that by using the black curtain hanging at the back of the stage. From what I remember, there used to be a really flashy curtain, but after the incident, it somehow became a plain black curtain that didn't seem to be the right size. That's right! It's so half-assed, just like Monami. Oh yeah? Well, your face looks stupid! Comeback of the year, bruh. That curtain was hung so the music venue would look like a conference room? In actuality, even though the curtain in the conference room doesn't stand out, it is a black light blocking curtain that's long enough to reach the floor. I see. The conference room. Indeed, the floor of that room is... the same color as the music venue stage. So the killer chose the conference room because they realized the floor match. Matching floors, matching curtains. I guess it makes sense you'd mistake the two. But that's not all. There should be something else the killer did to tamper with the evidence. Probably. Ah! Something else the killer did to make the music venue. What? To make the music make you look like the conference room, it's gotta be that. It was the news. It was the key. It was this. It was that. What? Okay, it's out. I'm going down. Just looking. Just, just look, Jerome. Just look. Just look. Say what? I have hearts. Something else the killer did to make the music venue look like the conference room. Is it this shit? I can prove it. Holy hell, I got it right. You're referring to the candle in the music venue, right? In the video I saw, a candle was used for lighting. And if you think about it, that's pretty strange. The music venue has good lighting, so there's no reason to even use candle light. But wouldn't they have done it to make it feel creepier? That might have been another reason, but the main reason was probably to tamper with evidence. The lighting in the conference room and the music venue are so different. They couldn't be used during filming. That's why the killer used a candle as film lighting instead. Which means... Are you saying the candle in the music venue wasn't actually used? That candle was likely placed there just to make me think it was the same candle that was used in the video. With candlelight, you can't see things in that much detail. Maybe they were going for that effect. With that cheap-ass camera, it won't capture much in a dark area. As long as this all matches up, it should be no problem to say this is the site. The video I saw wasn't filmed at the music venue. It was actually filmed at the hospital conference room. If I'd found proof that evidence in the conference room was altered, we would have reached an answer sooner. But it appears the killer already covered that up. 
So I didn't find anything when I went there. But there's no mistake. That's the only place within the connection range of the surveillance camera. The motel would have been too far, and the interior design of the movie theater is too distinctive. But this must be a surprising turn of events for Hajime. You never suspected that the video you saw in the hospital was being filmed in the conference room. The incident isn't happening at the scene of a crime. It's occurring in the conference room. I feel like I've heard that Bayside cops say that before, but isn't it the other way around? <laughs> um, if Ibuki's hanging video was filmed at the hospital's conference room, then was Ibuki killed at the conference room too? Impossible. No, that's not possible. Right after Hajime saw that video, he discovered Ibuki's body at the music venue. Exactly. That video was filmed at the conference room, but Ibuki's body was at the music venue. Which means there was a fake somewhere. That fake must have been Hiyoko at the music venue. Definitely. Definitely. I see. The person wearing the hint bag in that video wasn't Ibuki. It was the killer pretending to be Ibuki. The killer put on a hospital gown, wore a hint bag on their head, and was only pretending to be the victim. By that time, the real Ibuki must have already been killed. The actual time of death must have been earlier. Probably around midnight or dawn to avoid witnesses. If they took Ibuki from the music venue to the hospital to kill her, there's no way it happened during the day. So that's what happened. That no matter how quickly I ran, it was impossible for me to rescue Ibuki because she was already dead. That fucking sucks, dude. And it sucks because you know what makes it worse? Is that, so, the when you look at the Monokuma file, it was her throat that was, um, her windpipe that was crushed completely. So if she wasn't killed by hanging, someone fucking choked her. And it wasn't by hands. Because that will be, that will be, um, you would see it, like, basically bruising and shit. Oh my fucking god, someone went out of their way to freaking choke Ibuki. And then they wrapped the noose around her and lifted her up to make it seem like she hanged herself. That's fuck, yo, fuck that guy. Fuck that shit. And the one who set up a trap for me was... But why did the killer go to the trouble of making a fake video just so Hajime could go to the crime scene? The reason the killer made a fake video... There's only one possibility I can think of, and if I examine that possibility thoroughly, then naturally the killer's identity will reveal itself. Huh? You fiend! Are you saying you already know who the killer is? I don't know who the killer is! What the fuck?! I should- I should have already known. It, you know, if I if I click Mekon, I swear to God, if it's her, I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna fucking turn off the stream. Oh, excuse me. We're gonna go for it. You're the only one. I'm so fucking done. Mikon, you're the killer, aren't you? I'm so done. I'm so fucking done. Nope. Nap, 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 nap. <laughs> no, I'm so done. Mekon, you mother, why? I was about to fucking max her social link too. Uh, what are you talking about? Like I said, aren't you the killer who murdered Ibuki and Hyoko? Killer? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm the killer? What is this? Hey, don't you think that's kinda impossible? A chick like her is the killer? She couldn't even kill a fly. In fact, the fly would probably kill her first. That's fucked up. She, she, she's right! Uh, a clumsy slowpoke like me killing someone? That's completely out of the question! But we're the only ones. 
thanks to that video, we're the only ones who have the advantage of an alibi. An alibi? Was that the killer's goal? Now that you mention it, you guys brought that up earlier. Only Hajime and me can't have an alibi. Wait, hold on. Hold on, so hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this straight. If Mikon's the killer, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. So Mikon was sleeping with me in bed earlier today, and then we left to go to Nagito because she told me that Nagito's condition has been stabilized. And so when that occurred, I went to go check the whole the whole conference call, and then we found it unusual because it was really really early in the morning. So Mikon, no fucking way. But you're the only one who could have filmed that video in the hospital conference room. Is that also a coincidence? Shouldn't you get some rest already? You should be exhausted from nursing without any sleep, right? And this was when Nagito was basically a... Uh, oh my god, then if you insist I will use the on-call room upstairs. You must be mentally exhausted, so it's better if you relax in the lobby instead. At that time, you said you were going to the on-call room, but you actually went to the conference room. That's when you put on a hospital gown that you prepared in advance, put the bag on your head, and began filming. Yeah, and she's the only one that had access to the hospital. And and again, Akane, uh, who was the other one? Um, who was the other one? I forgot. It was Akane, Nagito. And Ibuki, there it is. Damn, I forgot about Ibuki, holy shit. They were the only ones who were there, and they were basically extremely unstable, and then- Wow, what the fuck this? By doing that, you made up a video that showed Ibuki trying to hang herself at the music video. And showed that to me. <laughs> Furthermore, I saw that video at the hospital lobby. If someone wants to go to the conference room from outside, they have to pass through the lobby. So it's impossible that someone who wasn't already in the hospital went to the conference room to film. Not only that, the others in the hospital, Akane and I, were both delirious from the despair disease. So that must mean... Please wait a second! It's not literally impossible. Can't you give a better defense than that? It just shows she can't even do that. Hey, you sure this chick is really the killer? R wrong! I it's totally wrong! It's not what you think! D just like Akane said, it is really hard to tie it all together. I mean, Mikon is the killer? I agree. It is truly difficult to believe someone could be killed by such a slow-witted woman. That slow-witted remark is not necessary. <laughs> it's fine. I've been like this for a long time. In a tournament for social punching bags, I'd easily win first place with my soft reputation. <laughs> Even I can't deny that. How many times do I have to tell you? It's impossible for me to kill someone! I am serious! Very serious! And she's not stuttering right now, so it's making me more suspicious of her, too. What do you say, Hajime? Do you still believe this woman is the killer? Mm, do you hate me that much, Hajime? Hey, Hajime! Uh, um... So she's playing the fucking soft girl act to win everybody's to win everybody over. Fuck me, dude. Yep, everyone's ganging up on me because she's using the soft girl act. Fucking shit, man. Tricks aside, logic aside, is she really capable of doing something like this? Could it be? I'm the one making a mistake. No, in fact, it'd be it'd be so much easier if I was wrong. If I have this much doubt about someone I've spent so much time with. Uh, can you hold on a minute? 
Oh god, here he goes. Here he goes! Well, I know I'm being intrusive and all, and I mean, I have no place to say this. I missed all of the critical parts, and I doubt I have anything worth saying at an important time like this. What are you saying? But still, there's definitely no way I can overlook the kill this time. I thought it was suspicious all along, from the very beginning. Investigating with the suspect in mind creates a different result than investigating with no leads. Hey, what are you trying to say? Well, thanks to that, I was able to discover a truth that nobody else knows. What? What? Are you serious? I've been so focused on everybody else this trial. But I guess now's a good time to say it, right? You better not have kept quiet on purpose. This isn't a game, you know. Actually, this is a game. Shut up, Monokuma. Please don't say such controversial statements. Well, what do you know, Nagito? Well, it's nothing big, really. Only a small, decisive clue that points to the killer. Dang, that's a huge deal. A d d d decisive clue? Does something like that really exist? Let's take a look, shall we? Regarding the rope Ibuki was dangling from, this rope was supplied by the supermarket, right? There weren't any ropes inside the music venue. Again with the supermarket? That place is a hot spot for criminal goods. If they got it at the supermarket, that means it was brand new, right? What's wrong with that? I want you to take a close look at this rope. And keep in mind that it's brand new. Near the middle of the rope, it's frayed, as if it was rubbed strongly. What? I don't... I... what? But why is it like this? The loopy bookie used to hang herself is on one end of the rope, and the part of the rope that hung from the baton lighting is on the other end. Hey, you're taking too long. What's wrong with the rope being frayed? It means, well, from what I can infer, I think the rope was used like this. It was straight. <gasps> I fucking knew it. He wrapped the rope around Ibuki's neck, pulled both ends at full strength, and strangled. Ibuki, no, oh, you fucking shit! God damn it, dude! Our fucking best friend was. Fucking... Why? Why does it have to be her? The center of the rope is frayed because that's the part they use to strangle Ibuki. Hey, I've been listening to you for a while, and it sounds like you knew about this rope clue all along. What exactly did you say to me during the investigation? So this rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search another place. That's when he Not went to the supermarket? Cooperates at a class trial. Those who lie and conceal the truth will obviously be here too. Just like this case is killer. I was just copying them a little bit. Better thumbnail that, bro. You know I'm never gonna do that. I'm not gonna spoil anybody for whoever never seen this game on YouTube. More importantly, what was all that about the rope? The killer strangled Ibuki, and then whoever strangled Ibuki, fuck them. Like real talk, that's so messed up. And then I finished speaking. Huh? How is that a decisive clue? Huh? You didn't notice it? I thought I made the decisive clue very clear. Nagito's words contain a decisive clue? Is that really true? What the fuck? I don't understand. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, they're very different. The scars they leave would look different too. Scars.
Mars? You mean the rope burn, right? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? The body at the crime scene was hanged, you know. Obviously, we'd assume it was a hanging. The Monokuma file complicates this, too. It never specified hanging or strangulation. Whoever misunderstood is to blame! Holy shit! What?! Ibuki's true cause of death was strangulation. That fact is the decisive proof that will lead to the killer. The only one that we have never done... ...was this, basically. Right? That's the only thing we never done. We done that, we done that, we did Mekons, we did this, we did Fuyuhiko's, Sonya's account, this one... We didn't, we didn't do this one, what the fuck is this? A mono, a mono tote bag that was sold in the movie theater because apparently you get a bag for free when you purchase it. What the fuck? And we haven't done the Wizard of Monomy either. Oh shit! Oh sh- hold on! My leg is asleep! <laughs> Holy what the fuck! It's the AC! It has to be the AC! Look at that camera ass camera. All right. Ooh. I'm sorry for that. Um, my dog apparently seems very, very sick for some reason. Uh, he's having stomach issues, which very, very sucks. Oh well. All right, where the hell are we at? I don't know what happened. Ibuki didn't die from hanging. She was strangled to death. That's basically the same thing. Though hanging and strangling seem similar, the scars they leave would look different too. Scars? You mean the rope burn? But we believed it was from a hanging. Why would that be? Did we fall for someone's lie? Holy what? shit! I come back and I guessed. I'm a fucking genius. So that's what happened. We've been falling for the killer's lie this whole time. She had no other external injury, so there's no doubt she died from hanging herself. You said Ibuki hanged herself, but that was a complete lie, wasn't it, Mikan? Oh my god, she f she's a murderer, dude! You told us the wrong cause of death. You lied, didn't you? <laughs> Dude, why is Mikon the murderer? What the fuck was her... What the hell? You should have been able to tell the difference between hanging and strangling just by looking. Wow, Mikon's the fucking murderer. What the fuck? I don't think I want to play this game for like two whole weeks now. You, Mikon. The ultimate nurse. She's so gentle though, what the fuck? Please wait! First of all, I'm not a coroner, so I don't have the medical knowledge to identify injuries like that. That's why it's not my fault if I made a mistake. You, you were right. And you have been a great help to us so far. But even a drunk medical student can notice the difference between a hanging and strangulation. I'm not taking her side or anything, but being clumsy and unskilled in this area could lead to a mistake. He's totally right! <laughs> uh, I'm such a clumsy mess, and I got so careless! Mikon nursed me till I got better. There's no way I'm gonna doubt her. Don't you think her devotion to nursing is what helped her draw Ibuki to her death? Huh? And if not, her symptoms were still very serious, and caused her to believe what anybody told her. It wouldn't surprise me if she willingly followed Mikon because she was nursing her. So, so Mikon volunteered to nurse us? Because she was planning to do this all along? What? That's a little... 
Aren't you like the thief who suspects everyone else of being thieves? I'm not a criminal. Mikon is. I mean, she's a killer, you know. You got it all wrong. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can forgive you. I just can't forgive this crime at all. Um, forgiveness or not, we still have not decided if Mikon is the killer. Hmm. Hmm. I see. You guys are kind. Well, if that's the choice everyone makes, then the only thing I can do is back off, I guess. But is that really okay? Is that everyone's hope? You're friggin' annoying! If you keep talking, I'm seriously gonna beat you up! <laughs> I'm really, really not the killer! There's no way <laughs> I'm capable of killing someone! Dude, no, dude. Okay, don't tell me she's fucking playing the damn innocent damn thing, man. I don't... <sighs> fucking shit. No, 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 no. No, man. I really... I really don't want her to be the killer. I really don't. What the fuck? Is that really true? <laughs> stop it already! That's enough! I can't stop. Uh, I don't want to do this either. Of course I don't want to do this. But I need to do this. You, you doubt your friends? That's not it. I suspect them because I want to believe them. What, what the hell does that mean? Um, I don't think belief and doubt are necessarily opposites. Huh? I do doubt her. But I still want to believe her. Belief lies at the heart of that conflict. I knew it, dude. I swear to God, even Monokuma said that fucking shit, man. The despair disease, bruh. We had the gullible one, which was Ibuki. We had the freaking... Uh, baby, basically the very cowardly one, which is Ikane, and then the one that told a shit ton of lies, which was Nagito. He said, Mo Monokuma said something about among those lines how it's gonna, like, I don't fucking know what the hell he said. He's like, it's gonna twist your soft hearts into basically having a murderous intent. That, f God damn it, dude. I don't, I don't want to believe this shit. I really don't. Cause, if there's no room for doubt. Then there's no reason to believe, is there? D don't say deep stuff. I don't really get it. If you want to believe in someone, you need to overcome doubt first. Belief without doubt is simply a lie. <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. I won't stop you anymore. Mikon, dude, no! Huh? Is that... All you can say. Yep, there she goes. Yep, there's game over. It's game over. Fuck this game. Fuck this shit. I'm done. I'm done. Somebody fuck somebody. 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 God damn it. Fuck. Alright, I was stretching. Well, she uh she got her personality changed real quick. Alright. Huh. So in the end, you're all just a bunch of bullies, huh? Justifying your actions with fancy words. Making excuses for why it's not really your fault. <laughs> Everyone always treats me like that. <laughs> always. <laughs> it's all her fault. She's the one with the problem. <laughs> I'm done with that. You hear me? I'm done. Honestly, I expected her to freaking go insane sooner or later. Nobody in the rightful mind who was bullied so fucking much in their life would freaking handle it anymore. They would just break. Their mental state would just go out the window. Hey, hey, Mika. It's not fair. It's not fair. 
Not fair, 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 not fair! Why won't you forgive me? If you did something wrong, you forgive yourself right away! What did I do? Why won't anybody forgive me? Is acting like this your strategy now? This is annoying. Plus, to be honest, I've run out of ideas. How can we get you to admit it? That's the issue. If we don't have any clues, why don't we have her give us some? I'm the same as Hajime. I don't want to doubt any of my friends. But still, the truth is one of us murdered two of our friends. That's why. We gotta stick with this until the very end, so we can finally break these chains of despair. Hey, Mikan, can I ask you one last thing? If you're not the killer, then who fabricated that video Hajime watched? Like I said, it obviously wasn't me! Can you prove it? P prove it? Wait! Do you have any proof that I'm the one who fabricated that video? <laughs> That's right! Show me your proof! <laughs> because you're just assuming the video was filmed at the conference room! Treating me like a killer based on an assumption! Just because I was at the hospital! <laughs> That's totally crazy! I was so close to maxing out her fucking social link too. Is this broad really okay? She's emotionally unstable. <laughs> I'm not the killer. I never filmed that video. Hmm. It seems she finally started arguing for us. But the only one who can find the hole in her argument is you, Hajime. What? So. I'm going to leave this to you once again. She's saying everyone's fate depend on me, the only person who saw that video. You get to decide I'm the killer. Where's your proof? Please, forgive me already! I'm the one who has to do it. I'm the one who's going to finish this. Make your argument. AC temperature. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Huh? Do you have any proof? Is the hemp bag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had? Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body types. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown? Just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Just from that dim candlelight? Holy shit! There's no way you'd be able to make out her body type! Hajime, pay close attention and listen well. You're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. Um... Guys? You could tell her body type just from that, just from that camera, just from that dim camera. There's no way you'd be able to tell! Hajime, take you're the only one who can point out the killer's mistake. I'm not the killer! We can't think of anybody else who could have filmed that. Huh? Do you have any? Is the handbag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown just from that video? Just from that camera angle? YOU MOTHERFUCKER! Just from
from that dim candlelight? There's no way you'd be able to tell Frizz from Hajime, take what you're I hate you so much, White Noise. I hate you so much. We can't think of anybody else other than you who could have filmed that video. Oh you my god. Him? Is the handbag on her head the proof? Is the hospital gown she was wearing suspicious? Or could it be the hospital slippers she had on? Ibuki and Mikan clearly. Is that really your proof? You could tell her body type under the hospital gown just from that video? Just from that camera angle? Oh, boy! Through that contradiction. Mikan, you've committed a major mistake. M mistake? As I said before many times, I'm the only one who saw that video. What the hell is her execution gonna be like, though? What's wrong with that? But I never said anything about the camera angle. <laughs> so how can you say anything about the camera angle as if you saw that video yourself? <laughs> The only reason Mikan knew the camera angle Hajime had seen is because you're the person who actually filmed that video. Is that right? This is your just reward. The more desperately you argue, the deeper you dig yourself into a hole. You lied, didn't you? Oh, are you serious? Is it true, Mikan? Did you... Did you kill Hiyoko and Ibuki? Ah, forgive me! I am so fucking done, dude. I am. It's it's fucking nearly 2.30 in the morning. I'm getting hit with the biggest mindfuck of the century. Fuck this game. I hate it to death. Oh my god. Wrong, wrong. No, no, that's not it at all. That's not it? I mean, it's impossible. You know that hemp bag Ibuki was wearing when she died? Try remembering the tote bag instead. Ding! I totally remember now. What the heck's wrong with her? She's getting weird. What the fuck is going on? That tote bag. Isn't it the same one that girl was wearing in the video? How do you know so much about that video? <laughs> Who cares about that? More importantly, did you know that bag is a limited item that was sold at the movie theater? Hajime saw it too, didn't you? You remember the Usami decal on it, right? Whoopsie! Don't worry about it. I remember even if you don't. What? Ta-da! There's no mistake that that tote bag is a limited item. So don't you think it's impossible? Using one tote bag in both the conference room and the music venue at the same time? Oh my god, what the fuck is going on in this goddamn game? It's flipping! It's blatantly obvious that that's impossible, don't you think? Oh damn, she's really pissed off at me now. That's why that video isn't fabricated, and I'm not the killer. So don't fucking tell me you cooperated with the killer, Mikan. Don't do it, don't say that shit, please. I beg of you. So you'll forgive me, right? Taking your stubbornness this far. Such despair. Then you're gonna forgive me? I won't stop until you forgive me! Long time no see. Well, not really. Fuck you, game. I don't even want to look at you right now, dude. Like, real talk. It's time for the third panic attack. Or panic, whatever. This is probably going to be my last job during a class trial. Please humor me while I taint your ears one last time. Well, technically, you're tainting my fucking eyes. Starting from this PTA, the reload and ammo features will be added. Oh, okay. 
you will no you will no longer be able to make do with just the X button. Below the temple marker in the lower portion of the screen, the number of bullets are displayed. From this point on, you will need one bullet to destroy one remark. When you're out of the out of bullets, you won't be able to destroy the remarks no matter how much you mash the X button. You have to reload, yeah. You can also refresh using the touch screen. But the thing is is that no matter how much um Hold on, what? Say what? Did I just see Okay, it's not but X and Square, okay. Also, your ammo will be completely refreshed and will not run out of run out during fever time. If your difficulty level is set to gentle, you don't need to reload. I guess this was pretty useless explanation, even though it was the last one. That should be all the explanations for the class trials. The rest is up to you to overcome. You should be able to find it beyond this point, which you and I both yearn for. True despair. Well then, good luck. And have fun. So is Mekon the killer of what? Hey, I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> That's why that crime is impossible for anyone to pull off. This chick, has she lost it for good? Will you forgive me? You'll forgive me, right? Isn't that right? You're obviously gonna forgive me, right? At this rate, we're not getting anywhere. I gotta do something and end this shit. I gotta do something to make her admit it. So she is the killer no matter what. This is game is fucking... This game fucking sucks. I'm f <gasps> oh, I hate it. Oh shit. Not gonna lie, I forgot how to play this shit. So triangle is the final strike. Okay. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me. Do you understand? I don't know. It says it says theater prize bonus. Prize bonus theater? Let's try that. No, bon what the fuck? Oh shit, I failed. What? Oh, oh well. Dude, it's the yeah, it makes sense. The theater bonus prize. I said theater bonus prize. What the fuck? I swear to God, I said that shit. Face palm. Go ahead and face palm, bro. I don't know what the hell is going on. GG, GG. All oh, the face palms. I don't care. It's not theater bonus prize. Bonus theater prize. I'm a fucking moron. I told you I'm ignorant, bro. 
the bonus theater prize or some shit like that. Yep, Hajime is the killer all along. We will never give up. Stay free, Jerome. Stay free. It's bonus prize? What are you talking about? It's just bonus prize? Oh, stupid. I said prize bonus. No fucking way. <laughs> it's Oh god, I can't spell apparently either. Either. Oh god. God damn it. Oh shit. You still haven't forgiven me? I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me. Do you understand? Why only me? Please, draw on me. Can you forgive me already? Forgive me! Forgive me! Please, draw on me. Do you understand? Can you forgive me already? I'll do anything you want. Can you forgive me? I'll do anything you want. You're done for! Forgive me! Forgive me! Why only me? You still haven't forgiven me! I'll do anything you want. Please, draw on me! There's only one bag. It's impossible to use me too, please. This is the end! Fuck! Monokuma mentioned this earlier. When you buy one bag, you get another free one. Or another one free. It's a common practice. Oh, shit. Whoever bought that bag should have received another one as a bonus prize. Which means it's not impossible to use that bag in two separate places. So please, just stop making desperate excuses. Why? Why can't you forgive me? Why? It seems her desperate struggle is finally coming to an end. Why does everybody always hate me? You should just forgive me already! Nikon, it's already over. After I go over your crime from the beginning and show that you have no arguments left, please just admit it already. In the end, at least let me believe in you. Nikon's the fucking murderer. Nikon's the murderer, dude. What the fuck is this shit? Wow. Econ's the fucking murderer, dude. This is fucking bullshit. Real talk. I don't like this. Not one bit. This fucking sucks. This sucks, man. Last stock? Why is it so short? Oops. Oh, what? Oh, stupid. I didn't see that shit there. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. I told you guys. Dude. He ran. He ran. It's so short. Why is it so short? Here's everything that happened in this. What? The key to this is the surveillance camera video that only I saw. That's why I'm going to start with that to unravel the knots of this crime. When I went to the hospital with Mikon this morning. I noticed a specific thing in the lobby. The incoming signal light on the surveillance monitor was blinking ahead of the scheduled time. <laughs> when I switched on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... A person wearing a hospital gown and a bag on their head about to hang themselves right at that moment. 
That surveillance camera unit was designed for two-way communication with the hospital and the music venue. That's why I thought the signal originated from the music venue. So I immediately headed over there. But that was the killer's trap. In truth, that video was recorded in a different place. The killer brought the music venue camera the night before and made their preparations in advance. And then, they filmed that video in the hospital conference room. By doing so, they tried to make me think the incident was happening in real time. But remember what Fuyu Hiko said, man? It's like, Ibuki and Mikan clearly have different body shapes. I didn't, like, I even said, I even agreed with him on that shit. Fuck this game. When in fact, the crime had already been committed by that point. The person in the footage wearing the bag was actually the killer acting as a fake. I didn't know that, so I went to the music venue and found the hanged body wearing a bag on its head. Seeing the body before me, I panicked and rushed out of there to get the rest of you guys. But that was also part of the killer's trap. After cleaning the conference room, the killer was likely watching the music venue from outside. And, as if they were switching places with me, they went inside the music venue and began working on their last trick. First, the killer peeled off the wallpaper covering one of the stage pillars, revealing Hyoko's body. When I first arrived and saw the hanged body, I didn't notice anything strange about that pillar. I didn't expect it to be slightly larger from the wallpaper, or have Hyoko's body hidden inside. Next, the killer destroyed the surveillance camera that was used in the conference room. After destroying it, they mixed it with what was left of the surveillance monitor found at the crime scene. The surveillance camera the killer used was originally brought from the music venue, but when they brought it, they made sure to destroy its monitor beforehand. They wanted to hide the fact that the camera wasn't at the crime scene. In the end, the killer transformed the crime scene into a closed room. So Mekon is so damn swole that she could snap a drumstick in half. I don't know about you guys, but bringing a drumstick like that... I don't know how strong Mekon is now. <laughs> they broke one of the drumsticks from the storage room and placed it near the music venue's entrance. However, they did this to mislead us into believing that the music venue was locked from the inside. In actuality, the reason the music venue became a closed room was because of the glue. The killer sealed the door with glue and intentionally created a closed room that could be forced open. With that, the killer finished tampering with the crime scene and met up with Fuyuhiko again. They helped us force open the music venue door, despite the fact that they personally sealed it. And they made us discover not just Ibuki's body, but Hyoko's suddenly present body as well. At the time, they pretended to be surprised, but inside, they were probably relieved that their plan worked out. Isn't that right, Mikan? This crime was orchestrated by you, wasn't it? Oh, God, this is screenshot material right here. I just gotta get the screenshot without any uh, heartbeat waves in the damn thing because that'll be just a dead giveaway. This fucking. I hate this. Where'd you see? Genocide Jail now? Complete. Fuck! Mekon! We spent so much time together! Literally! It was just a waste of time now! Wow. <laughs> and then she lost it. Now I'm liking her more. Whoa. Now she's laughing? <sighs> it's been such a long time. This feeling, I know it well. Like the floor is collapsing, like the sky is falling down upon you. This feeling of despair! Well, okay, she's okay. What the fuck is going on? I'm, I, okay, now I'm actually liking her a lot more, to be honest, but what is going on? Despair? 
The only one that I knows that that I know, sorry, that loves despair is Junko. But why the fuck is this woman like this? The despair disease? M Mikon, you. What has happened to you? Whoa there! Before that, a moment of your time. I knew me. I knew Mikon was gonna get fucking exposed. Look at this shit. It's fucking. It's actually over. Mikon is legitly the murderer. Give me a C. Give me a C. Oh, I got a B. What the fuck? <laughs> 